Good morning everybody, how is it going? Today we're playing Angel Arena Black Star, and that is for one specific reason, and that is this hero. Sengeraz, or whatever, <laughs> whatever you call him. This hero I find very interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, actually, you know what, let me try this the other way around. <laughs> Because you cannot do it if you do it like so. No, it doesn't work either. Alright, uh, let's sell that again. Let's go and get ourselves an iron talent and then we'll get some tangles later. But as I was saying, this hero I find incredibly, incredibly interesting. He has uh, some odd abilities that really don't make any sense on their own. And they really don't work on their own. But he has an ultimate that ties it all together. And in fact, I find this hero so interesting that I am considering implementing him into Angel Arena All-Stars. And I thought that might be something you guys would be interested in, so I, you know, might as well show it to you. So anyway, um, his first ability is a Vow of Silence. Anytime an enemy casts an ability, he will get silenced. If, um, uh, if there are other enemies in the radius, then they get stunned. As that's straightforward, the stun is really long, it's a 3 second stun, so it's fairly powerful. Um, the um, silence is 3 seconds, which is, I, I, I say, average, maybe? I don't know. Uh, it's still pretty strong, also we are dead, but I can still buy some time. Right, um, the thing is, he's gonna kill me here, but that bought my team some time to kill the other guy. And overall, we won that duel, which is neat. I will definitely take that. You get a little bit of extra money for winning that first duel. It's not a huge deal, but it's definitely helpful. Now, this hero um, has only channeled abilities apart from his ultimate. Now you may be like, wait, what? How does that even make sense? Well, yeah, it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> it is weird. Um, but it's true. His Q is a channeled ability. It roots a target in place, uh, has a 6 second cooldown at max level, and has a max channel time of 6 seconds. Um, his W deals damage in an AoE for every second that you channel it. But yet again, it requires you to channel it. And then we already know what the E does. So he has three channeled abilities, and none of which are fantastic on their own. In fact, they're all pretty mediocre on their own. Um, the Mystic Twister can be fairly powerful, but it is nowhere strong enough to justify being, uh, you know, a channeler like that. Now, uh, the thing about Mystic Twister, it goes down to a one second cooldown now. Yes. Right, one second. Wow, well, that's pretty fucking low, right? This right here doesn't really go that low, but this one also goes down to six seconds. That's where his ultimate comes in. What his ultimate allows him to do is it allows him to blink into a direction. And, um, after the blink... There's an illusion where you were beforehand. And that illusion will continue any channels you have been doing. So if I use Divine Intervention on somebody to lock them in place, and then, then use Superposition to blink myself forward away from them, what ends up happening is um, that my illusion that is left behind will continue to channel on my, my original target. And that is how I can use multiple channels at once by using this blink ability. With Aghanims, I can have up to five charges, which five charges is a lot. And um, yeah, it's kind of what allows this hero to function. And that's where he gets really, really cool. Now, the first thing we want is the Hand of Minus. Um, Hand of Minus is super broken. And actually, another reason why I am um, making a Black Star video is uh, Black Star has been getting a lot of popularity recently. This game on has definitely been uh, doing much better than it was before, and I'm quite happy about that. Um, I still think it has a lot of issues, right? Um, it, mostly the balance. It's just not balanced. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even gonna say that it's badly. It's just <laughs> it's just not balanced, right? Um, however, I like the mode for what it is. I think it has a lot of cool aspects, and it's definitely something that's worth exploring. So, uh, first thing we're gonna do right here is we're gonna cast our W, get a little bit of damage in. Now, I want to show you some tricks. In regards to this game mode, you know, how do I do well? Now, an important mechanic you need to understand, which uh, is a little questionable, to say the least. Uh, but an important mechanic in this game mode that you need to understand is that actually the power level of the creeps is based on the maximum level of the highest, like of the highest, it's based on the level of the highest level hero in the game. Alright, so if I'm level 30, 
then all of the creeps, and, and everybody else in the game is level 1, then all of the creeps will be treated as if everybody's level 30, because I am the highest level hero on the map. Now, another funny thing is that this camp in particular, this easy camp that I keep farming, actually has... Um, actually has... Uh, the highest experience value per creep. Alright, so those creeps will give you the most experience, which is why they are incredibly, incredibly valuable. Now I'm gonna retreat out right here, um, heal up. We're just gonna keep spamming the Mystic Twister. Alright, well, this is gonna take a little while until we get that thing, but eventually it's gonna be dead. And once it's dead, we'll get a lot of money. <laughs> Alright, so as I was saying, though, as I was saying, though, that is uh, an important mechanic to understand. Um, so leveling up quickly is quite powerful because not only will it make it so that all of the creeps are at a higher level, you can snowball more, but it actually shuts down the opponent's farm because they cannot farm those creeps anymore because they are now too strong. Which is uh, interesting. Now, should this mechanic be in this game like in, in a game like that? No, <laughs> like I'm just gonna say it. It's it's a little bit stupid. Um, but it is, and we gotta deal with it, right? So, how do you best deal with it? Well, you get yourself a Hand of Midas and you level up quickly, right? A Hand of Midas, not only does it help you level up quickly, but a Hand of Midas is also just a nice item in general. Now, as I already mentioned, these creeps right here give the most experience. So, the easiest camp in the game, for some reason, gives the most experience. So as you can see, just leveling, like putting the Hand of Midas on that creep right there leveled me up quite a while. Gonna go ahead and oh, we got a duel. Now, this is where I can show you the superstition. Um, so I'm gonna cast this, right? And now this guy is gonna be channeling that ability, which makes it so that anytime somebody casts something, they are just gonna get fucked. And uh, you can see they are trying to play around it, but it is just quite difficult. Now, the uh, now the uh, <laughs> now the illusion cannot cast a new ability, right? The illusion, oh, by the way, I can't just root him in place. The illusion cannot cast a new spell. The illusion is just stuck um, casting, like, like afterwards just being, you know, a regular illusion. However, it is honestly plenty to just have the ability to, you know, uh, throw out one ability with those illusions. But anyway, we got our level 3 Hand of Minus. Level 3 Hand of Minus gives us seven times the experience of a, of a creep, which is quite a bit. Right. Um, so regular Dota gives 2.5 times. This right here gives 7 times. Um, so Hand of Minus is incredibly powerful. Also gives 2,000 gold every time you use it. It's good. It's a good item. It's definitely a good item. So we're going to go ahead and kill this. Now we have our ultimate. So we can blink out of there and use the illusion to help us out a little bit. Although these creeps are getting quite powerful. Highest level in the game currently is me with level 7. Okay, good. That's what we like to see. Right, we always want to be the highest level in the game. Um, go ahead and kill this again. Now, uh, these are, by the way, like what I'm teaching you right now. You shouldn't have died right there, but that's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Um, also, tomes. Should probably buy tomes. Should almost certainly buy tomes. Um, especially with this hero. This hero really needs level ups. Like, quite badly. <laughs> you know, not only are... Uh, you know, not only is experience valuable in general, but on this hero in particular, yeah, you, you kind of want to level up a lot. All right, cool. So we got our level two ultimate. Now, in terms of items, Agonims is super good on this guy. It is so fucking good. I absolutely recommend that. Uh, now, this ability scales really well. Like, it becomes much more powerful at level two, as you can see, right? Um... Became much, much more powerful, cleared out that creep camp like it's nothing, as opposed to the one where it did barely anything. Right? Um, so, we want to level up and get this thing maxed out. At max, it can deal up to 10,000 damage. I uh, which, <laughs> yeah, in other words, even a black star, you know, even a black star, that is a lot. But cool, we got 4,000 gold here. Now, what is the next thing we want? Now, uh, <laughs> there's actually a lot of options we've got. All right, there's a lot of valuable stuff. We're gonna go ahead and buy ourselves another tome, though. Level up once more. Get the ball of silence. Now, why am I getting this over this? Uh, because the divine intervention goes up in mana cost, and it goes up significantly, and we just don't have that much mana. Like, like we have a lot of mana later on, but currently we do not have the mana this uh, this ability needs. Later on, mana won't be an issue, but 
again, currently it is. So uh, an item that is incredibly valuable is actually just a refresher core. Now, the refresher core does more than just refresh an item, right? It is also an octarine core, but it actually has a much lower cooldown than our Hand of Midas. Yeah, I know it sounds a little bit weird, but again, that's just how it is. So since it has a lower cooldown than the Hand of Midas, we can actually use it to accelerate our farm significantly. Right, we can actually farm a lot by just spamming the refresher core over and over again. It's also nice because, you know, it reduces cooldown and shit. Uh, we do want a refresher core for Doctorine core effect and all of that. So it's definitely a good item to get just in general, but <laughs> also makes sense with the build. Um, core deal 4% of a unit's max health in damage each second. Sure, that's going to be handy. Now... With the super position, we can now actually start to... Also, I'm going to totally steal this. Yeah, so this guy is going to be channeling, deal a little bit of damage here. We're going to go ahead and clean out this entire camp really quick. Just take this away from them. Oh, yeah, I don't actually want to tank this, though. Thank you. All right, cool. Cool. Get ourselves the refresher. And we need 2,000 gold for the refresher core. Uh, oh, cool, a vibration rune. Hmm, guess not. Alright, this is gonna make this a little bit awkward. This also sometimes stuns. I don't know when it does that. Like, I wish I could tell you, but I don't know. <laughs> it also sometimes locks people in place. I wish I could tell you why it does that and when it does that, but I don't know. Um, I'm gonna need those spiders really quick. Okay, thank you. Uh, all right, there we go. We got that. We got ourselves an Agonims. Good old Agonims. Now, Agonims is very good here, as I already mentioned. Right, gives us a lot more charges of the ultimate. And as you might be able to tell already, the ultimate is quite powerful. But yeah, as you can see, Refresher Core doesn't actually have that long of a cooldown at all. I believe it's based on the cooldown you have on... Uh, the item or something like that. I'm not really sure how it works exactly. Anyway, dual time. So we do superstition. We put out put out one of these. Just kind of kill this guy. Again, it does a little bit of um, damage of swords. Okay, burn these guys down really quick. But you can see why I find this hero very interesting, right? Like, he's super cool. Now, is he balanced? No, probably not. <laughs> I mean... Admittedly, this I don't think actually this hero is one of the stronger ones in Blackstar. This should tell you a lot about the state of the balance in this mode, right? But um, I don't actually think he's that good. Yes. But he's still pretty strong. He can definitely do damage. Like, absolutely, he can do a lot of damage. Um, so right now, we're just going to chill. We're going to wait for the Hand of Midas again on these creeps. Because oh, you always want to Hand of Midas these. I'm telling you. You can try to Hand of Midas any of the other ones. But I promise you, these give you the, these give the most experience, right? So if I cast this right here, you can see I just leveled up six times. Yeah, I'm not joking. Like, uh, <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? Um, it's not even close, honestly. Like, these creeps just give by far the most experience. Uh, so bonus experience can't actually get that. We're gonna get health for now. And are there any more tomes? Yes, but I'm gonna skip those for now. I'm actually gonna go for level up shards from here. Sell these. So again, by leveling up our hero, we actually make the entire game more difficult for everybody. <laughs> Except for us, of course. <laughs> but I don't, you know, like I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So, cast this. Now that our W has a much shorter cooldown and a much longer channel duration, we can actually use it a lot more effectively, which is nice. Gonna go out and get ourselves the bonus experience. Why not? Hey, it's nice. <laughs> but uh, head over here, and there's also gonna be a camp of those easy ones. Uh, well, I guess not right now. We wanna secure those. Right? So, I know it sounds silly. But we gotta make sure we get that easy camp. It's such a silly sentence to say, isn't it? But I promise you, we wanna make sure we steal that easy camp. <laughs> oh. Oh, alright, that, that, that went a little bit quicker than I imagined. Hello. So we just root them in place, take them down like that. Um, 
Costs a lot of mana though, right? 700 mana on that divine intervention. 700 of it. Boom, boom, you stab it 50. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? It's crazy. Go ahead and get ourselves a little bit more of this. Not much of a fair battle. Yeah, I'm sorry. I mean... I'm not really doing anything crazy though. Again, this hero is actually not broken. I don't think so. I really don't. Um, I mean, he can certainly do nasty things if you let him. And he's actually quite a god in the late game, but overall, I would absolutely not put this hero in, like, my <laughs> top 10 in this, in this mode. Absolutely not. Uh, I don't want to shit talk this mode. I find this is a really cool game mode, right? But, yeah. So, anyway, just to kind of elaborate, right? So, what you do is you put down this. You, you, you root this guy in place. You put down that. Now, I, I waited with that one because I don't want to, you know, kill them too quickly. But, um, you know, we have our illusions, and, and they do the channeling for us, right? We put down this, and then we root a guy in place here. And, uh, never mind, they're just dying too quickly. Oops. Okay, uh, so we can actually just, like, do this, and... This would be much cooler if they didn't die instantly. Ooh, this would be so much cooler if they didn't die instantly. Yeah, I don't really know when it stuns. It doesn't say anything on the ability about it. It just, like, stuns sometimes. So I'm just gonna go now, right? Um, yeah, we don't really need mountain camping. Uh, I feel like we can spend our time doing other stuff. Now, uh, things this, this hero's not good at is uh, killing bosses. Yeah, he's garbage at that, which is not good. Um... Just can't really do it, right? Uh, also, did he die to the neutrals? No? Yeah, okay. I'm glad that everybody is still powerful enough to actually fight these neutrals. Uh, what are we going for? Well, that's actually kind of a problem, usually. I'm not really too sure. Uh, I find the Frozen Radiance to be the best way to go. You know, it just gives you a lot of stats. And you do want stats. No, that's pretty solid. Just helps a lot. And it gives you a lot of HP. You don't really need anything else. I mean, this hero is all about spells and, and using the combos and such. And in regards to that... Okay, um, I'm not actually going to do that much damage this fight. I'm just going to put this down. going to go ahead and put this down. Ah. Oh, wow. All right, I guess they don't even need me. <laughs> I guess they don't even need me. Let, oh, let's go over here. Uh, there's a bunch of creeps here again. As you can see, even at this point, I still actually just gain a lot of levels from these. So we put down... Oh, we got hexed. Interesting. Okay, we put down this. Kill him. Easy peasy. Blinking all over the place, using using spells to, you know, get our damage out, but in a very interesting fashion. I, I just wanted to make this video to show, <laughs> to show how cool this hero is, you know, what he can do and such. I'm actually just gonna go feed myself to them. You yeah, know, I'll give them a little bit of money. Um, um, kill me. I'm just gonna sit here and let them kill me. You know, make it a little bit more interesting. Because this is this is just stupid, right? And it's not really their fault so much. It's really not. So I got sixty-two thousand gold. <laughs> um, no, it says sixty-two thousand. Uh, sixty-two k to the to the alchemist. So that should make it a bit more interesting, you know. I feel like that should bring them back into the game at least a little bit. So yeah, that's good. Alright, that's good. <laughs> Alright, you know what? If you're, if you're feeling happy about this, that's great. I don't even have upgraded boots yet, though. We definitely want to get ourselves the Angel's Wings sometime soon. I actually completely forgot about that. Uh, it's not really that important. So, yeah. Um, and I'm not joking that actually getting a refresher just for this, like, double hand of Midas shit is absolutely worth it. Like, it is so worth it. 
Okay. You know, you guys are actually starting to look a little bit more powerful. I can appreciate that. Uh, well, no, you're dead. Okay. Uh, maybe, maybe you should feed myself to them again. Just to make sure. You know. Uh, okay, come. Fight it out. I don't even have right-click damage. <laughs> I don't even deal right click damage, man. Okay. Yeah. Kill me again. Just do it. Just, just come. Take me down. You guys, you guys can do it. I believe in you. You know? Alright. Although, I wasn't worth as much money as before. Hmm. Suppose that that feeding strat isn't really gonna keep working all that well. Alright, well I tried. I definitely tried, you know, I'm trying to be nice here. I'm trying to be nice here. But yeah, um, again, I'm glad this game mode is getting more popularity. It is very cool. Definitely needs to work on the balance. Absolutely, like, so badly. Um, I actually kind of like, I guess I could talk about Angel Arena All Stars. Since we, like, um, so the thing is that I think the main reason why balance in these modes is so difficult to get, you know, uh, no, that's not the real one. You see, these are the real ones. Actually, none of them are. Oh, God. Sorry. Yeah, so I think you're starting to get the hang of this, right? It's pretty fucking cool, isn't it? Alright, so I root him and then burn him down and got him and just burn him down and sick. Alright, but I've talked many times over or like about how I want the power level in Angel Arena All Stars to be much lower than it is in these modes. And that's because I actually find um you know like all of the fountain camping and all of that to be an issue with the balance, not so much with the innate game mode. And um, the balance is incredibly difficult to get, right? Also, did you see how little experience I got for using my Hand of Miles on those creeps? As compared to the, uh, you know, those those guys right there? Yeah. Um, anyway. So... If we make... Like, if you go into power levels this high, you know, where everybody deals 10,000 damage per attack and, you know, every, every ability does so much fucking damage, then uh, of course it's impossible to, like, get it right. I mean, how? <laughs> right? Also, uh, yeah. This hero's cool. I'm telling you. It's a cool hero. Cool hero. Uh, yeah. Pretty powerful attack. But look at how much experience I'm getting for just without Hand of Midas. Alright, um, let me actually use one hand of Midas on one of these guys. Kill him first. Oh, never mind. So, use one hand of Midas here. So, did you see how much experience that was? And I'm gonna use a refresh and go over here really quick. Use a hand of Midas on... Any... Oh, uh, never mind. Okay, um... Yeah. Okay, we got that. We're gonna burn him down. We got that. We got an ultra kill. Easy fucking peasy. Boom! You see how cool this hero is? <laughs> now, I gotta keep in mind, these fools have never played against this hero, and I've played him a few times. I find him very fascinating. But yeah, you see, I got barely one level from that. If I used to refresh on... No, that doesn't actually give any movement speed, does it? I used to refresh here, and then I... Ah, oh, oh, never mind. Ah, but anyway, I think you get the point. Yeah, got him. So, uh, we wanted a Frozen Radiance, right? One of the Frozen Radiance. Well, let's get ourselves to Scotty times 700 or whatever we add right now. Because that's very necessary to have that much Scotty. Go and burn this down. Oh, man. Oh, hey. No, I actually, you know, that's that's the cool thing too. I got a blink. You know, I can actually just blink around the place. 
Uh, and channel the stun here. Root him in place. Okay, I'm actually gonna channel this. No, that's just an illusion, man. How have you not figured this out yet? Oh, you're just gonna go for that? Mm, rip. <laughs> Sorry. You shouldn't. Okay, let's try this again. So that's how much experience I got from that. Barely one level. And then I activate this, and boom. What was that, like six levels? Oh, not quite, but getting there. Okay, you guys really want me dead, don't you? Okay, well, just gonna burn you down. You know, do all of that fun stuff. Yeah, the thing is, this has like 0 0.7 seconds cooldown. <laughs> You know, it's just, uh, it's also pure damage for reasons. Um, also, I have, how much damage amp do I actually have? 33% and I of course have my talent giving me more. This actually deals 1700 damage per second. Um, ooh, yeah. Ooh. I do feel a little bit bad about that. God, man. Okay, uh, we're gonna go and blink over there. Oh, I actually wanted to root him. Never mind. Don't even need to root him. Oh. Yeah, that works. Now, of course, we're back to fountain camping, but I guess that's just... That's just the angel arena life, you know? Oh. Hello. <laughs> no, that's not real. <laughs> it's not real. Oh, he's oh he's a tiny Jack hero. I can dig that. Oh, she went back into the fountain. I could have gotten a rampage. Could have gotten a rampage. All right. Who needs a rampage? Let's be honest. I should probably go. I understand that isn't the most entertaining thing in the world. Right, but that's again, that's the that's just the best strategy. That's the best strategy. That's that's what we should be doing because Um Yeah, I mean that's just uh optimal, right? Like if you're trying to win, then this is optimal. So Blame the uh, blame the game, don't blame the blame. Well, actually, I guess play. It doesn't usually go blame the player, not the game. But I do blame the game. That's a stupid saying. Who came up with that? That's fucking retarded. <laughs> you should blame the player. No, no, you should blame the game. The player is never at fault. You know? The player is just trying to win. And as such, the player has really complete control over what he wants to do. Oh, shit, everybody's dead. Oops. Uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves the Frozen Radiance. Hey, since we're leaving illusions everywhere, might as well have Radiance, you know. Got Octorinko and the Frozen Radiance is one of the most expensive and powerful items we can buy without boss items. And uh, it's generally a good idea to go for those because, again, our hero is just garbage at killing bosses. Like, this is my contribution. Um, turns out that is not enough. At all. Like, not really. Uh, and the thing is, I, I can't even use the illusions because the illusions just disappear. Alright, um. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Kind of a problem like that, you know? Was I died? Jump fairly unhappy about. Can't handle it. Still, they're gonna kill bosses now. Yeah, I don't find killing bosses here to be particularly engaging. It's another thing, you know, like, the higher power level always means that uh, um, attacks... Okay, let me actually tell you what I think is the biggest offender in uh, making these games less interesting than they could be. Uh, and that is actually attack speed. I know. 
didn't expect that one, did you? Um, I think it's attack speed. So, why is it attack speed? The thing with attack speed is... Um, attack speed, if you have enough attack speed, because there's always going to be an attack speed cap, makes eventually... You know, like... Okay, wait. So... <laughs> In regular Dota, let me, let me start over. In regular Dota, uh, you have to sacrifice something for everything, right? So if you want attack speed, you're going to have to buy an attack speed item. And there aren't really any attack speed items apart from Butterfly that will give you damage as well, right? You always have to pick. Um, not only that, not only that, uh, but, you know, Butterfly isn't even that great of a damage or attack speed item. It's quite well in the middle, which... Makes it a bit awkward. Well, I guess we're not going for you now. Oh, by the way, yeah, everybody's slowed now because I got uh, the Radiance. Oh no, those are not real. Don't be silly, why would those be real? <sighs> Sorry. Cool, we got a boss item. Oh, we got a boss kill. I'm not really that fussed about it. So, um, the thing is with the current leveling up system, you level up. You go to level 113. Your hero gains uh, 1.2 agility per level, which means that I actually gain 409 attack speed from um, just existing. All right, I don't have to do anything for it. I just have it, which is of course quite powerful. You know, like usually you have to make a sacrifice for attack speed, and no, I don't. I just kind of got it. Hmm. That's a problem, isn't it? Oh. Wait, the route continues. Well, that's broken as shit. I <laughs> feel like that shouldn't shouldn't happen. Really? Nobody wants the Dark Blade? I'll take it. Yeah, that item is strong. How do you not want it? Alright. Odd. But I'm not complaining. Oh. Oh, he, he hexed me. How dare you. Alright. So you may notice that... Um, a lot of items give, like, tiny amounts of stats, right, like, uh, uh, an Agonims gives a little bit, or I guess our Scotties 225 into all attributes because they just let you stack it up, and they just, you know, add up the math and just let you have eight of them. So the thing is that actually, um, even though my item build has literally no damage items, uh, in terms of, like, right-clicking, Alright, I guess you could count the hand of Midas, this gives me 90 attack speed, so... Disregard that, uh, my attack speed right now is actually... 679. Which is maximal. Uh, even though I am not trying in the slightest to get there. I just have it. Why? Uh, because. Now I bought one item, now I'm at 788. Uh, I'm still at maximum, you know. Um, do you see the problem? Right, like, that is the issue. In you don't have to make a sacrifice to be at maximum attack speed, which makes it so that attack damage items, which would usually come with the sacrifice of not having um, attack, not that having attack speed, right? Um, that balance just doesn't exist. That balance is just not a thing. Um, oh, yeah, sorry, boys. Oh, yeah, you're, like, super dead. God, this is so dumb. Mmm. Yeah. Does this work on these? Oh, it does. I didn't even know that. I guess it should, since it's pure and all, you know. Yeah, but that balance that usually exists be between attack speed and attack damage uh, doesn't exist in Angel Arena. It's just not a thing. Alright, and um, so right-clicking always becomes the most powerful thing later on in the game. Now, of course, this right here is a bad example, because... Uh, my hero is just ridiculously broken, and that's... It's actually, he's not... He's not... It's just... Everything in here is broken. Right? Like, <laughs> the inherent game mechanics are broken. Like, the, the creep thing that I told you about, yeah, that's just... That's just dumb. You know, that shouldn't be a thing. Uh, but... Yeah, um... Uh, never mind that, though. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put down one of these two, just for safety. Oh. You're going for that. Okay, we're gonna put you down and put you in place. Ultra kill! Yeah! Although I'm running out of superstition charges. So, uh, attack speed, you know, is kind of, I think... What? 
I don't know what that is. I have no idea what that is. But I got a rampage, so I mean... I guess I'll take it, you know. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what that just was. <clears throat> but yeah, anyway. Uh, it's kind of like one of the main issues I see with these games. Okay, I don't know what's happening right now. Like, it's showing me the ability levels or something. I'm not sure why. Is that like a special item or something? Hmm. Weird. <laughs> Weird. Oh yeah, you're like super dead. Hmm. Oh yeah, you know, like deals 2,300 damage now. Right, so uh, a lot of these like passive stats increases are just not really adequate. Now, now how can I possibly fix that? Alright, so the thing is that a lot of my plans regarding Angel Arena All Stars are actually um, stuff like I am. I am um, people in on my development team have called me the attack speed Nazi, right? And then they immediately apologize because I'm just like this wasn't a German joke. This was just you're so incredibly opposed to attack speed. It's a ridiculous joke, and I'm just like okay, okay, just throwing in there that uh, I'm actually. Um, you know, that my family was actually fugitives from the Nazis. You know, my grandfather is from Hungary, who uh, fled first from the Russians and then from the Nazis. And my mother is from the uh, Ukraine. Right, my, not my mother, my grandmother's from the Ukraine. My one grandmother's from the Ukraine, who also uh, actually fled from the Nazis. And then my father, so like my other family side, is uh, actually from South America. So already I've got nothing to do with them, but never mind that! <laughs> never mind that. Um, I guess yes. This video is about to be two hours long. I mean, I'm never gonna leave the fountain again. Oh no. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, you guys are super dead. Got him. Alright, so... Uh, people have been told, calling me the attack speed Nazi. Because I'm just like... No attack speed. No stats on anything. Right? Like, we're not... We are never going to just give 200 in all stats. No. If we want that, we're gonna give 4000 HP. And this much mana. And this much HP region, etc. All right. Not gonna just give 200 and all stats because then everything gets fucked up. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. A little bit of Angel Arena Black Star showing you a little bit of uh, how you can Shrek in this mode if you feel like Shreking in this mode. Um, I find this hero super cool. Super cool. Definitely considering porting him into Angel Arena All Stars. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.